Okay, today we have Marvel Heroes, Heroes Unite, Card and Dice Game. Uh, ages four and up, two to four players. Simple, silly, fun. By Fun Dex. Comes in a little lunchbox. Pretty small. Open here. Oh man, this doesn't look good already. Oh, stickers. Now it's a label. It says stickers. Instructions. Pretty long. Alright, let's take a look at the cards. Spider Man. It's open, so let's see. Dice, put the stickers on. Not bad. Pretty big, sturdy. Oh, we got Spider Man, a couple of them. Cap, Hulk, Wild, New Villains Arrive, Jailbreak, Double Punch, Sentinel, Bullseye. Dark Ock, Lizard, hmm, Sabertooth, Abomination, Red Skull, Green Goblin, Magneto, Suckernaut, and Galactus, and Doctor Doom, man, Thanos. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm gonna pause this and actually put the stickers on, see how this plays. Okay, so I read through the rules, which are very short. It's a pretty easy game to understand. Uh, beginning the game, you'll deal three hero cards to each player. A Spider-Man, Captain America, and an Incredible Hulk. Uh, these are one-shot deals. And at the beginning of the game, you're going to flip over three cards. And then on your turn... the dice you'll roll them <laughs> so that's terrible I got two X's so a misses and a Captain America so I could choose to use my spider-man card to capture a Doc Ock I'm not gonna do it just for pass to the second player and he would then roll so he has two spider-man and Incredible Hulk. And in this game, you place them on what you're gonna capture. This does nothing. So he has two spider man so he can capture both of these villains. Now we go to me, I'm gonna replace Galactus and Thanos. All right, so. Again, a terrible roll. Well, I would just pass. He will roll. Uh, he could take. He could get Galactus. If he spent the Cribble Hawk card, he'll spend it. I mean, I'm sorry. He'll spend his Captain America card. So, Cap, Spider Man, Hawk. He gets Galactus. Place those back to me. Flip, red skull. Blah, blah, blah. So I have all three heroes, so I could technically get one of these guys. I would go ahead and spend this guy. Capture Thanos. So on and so on. And if you flip out some of these special cards, wild, so it counts as any hero. So this was here. The red skull was not. And you rolled this. You can make this a we'll say this is Spider-Man. So you can make this a Captain America. And then you could get Doctor Doom with it.
then if you have a double punch, double punch, I forgot what it does, double punch. When this card appears, the player gets to roll the dice twice in one turn, too. So you get a, a re-roll. And then the wild, we just went over. And the other one is... The new villains arrive. You just sweep the three villains that are out, put three new ones down. And the other one is... Jailbreak. And Jailbreak, when this card appears, in the villain's row, the player whose turn it is must immediately choose one of their previously captured villains and place it back into the villain's row. So the play continues, winning the game. When all the cards from the draw pile and villain's row are gone, the game is over. All players total their points by counting the number of icons that appear on the bottom of all their captured villain cards. And any unused hero cards they may still have. Player with most points wins. Kids with a tie. Player captured the most villains. Villain cards wins. So there is a benefit. So these are worth three points. One point. Um, we have a two point villain. Yep, two points. And if you didn't use your cards, they would go towards your score. Well. Materials are okay. Uh, a simple just roll and hope for the best, I guess. Kind of game. Not the greatest. But again, not the worst. Uh, I think little kids would enjoy it. I mean, it's probably not that bad to play. If you just uh, don't want to pay attention to anything, just want to roll and. Deal with some superhero stuff. So that is the Marvel Heroes. Heroes Unite card and dice game.